Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you for all uh, coming here today uh, on this uh, very important issue since uh, the Port of Duluth is in uh, Minnesota, and uh, we are very proud, proud of that port, and we want to make sure she is uh, up and ready to go. And uh, I think that it is, as a freshman congressman coming here from Minnesota, what we are finding what is happening to the Harbor Trust Fund is what I am finding endemic uh, through Congress, where we have raided different funds and uh, use them for other things instead of using them for their primary intentions, Social Security being one of them. Uh, but uh, I really echo Mr. Bishop's uh, concerns in ensuring that this, the monies acquired by the trust fund are actually used uh, for what their intended purposes are. And as long as I am in Congress, uh, uh, that will be under my microscope. So thank you for that. Uh, one of the, I think Mr. Weekly hit it directly uh, he, when he said this is, uh, this is about jobs. This is most definitely a jobs issue, and we are just not talking the ones at the dock. Uh, we are talking throughout the industry. Uh, maritime transportation, like I said, is, is critical to my State, and, and we are very fortunate to have the uh, Port of Duluth in my district, and which is heavily involved in transporting taconite uh, throughout the, the steel the mills throughout the country. And this is a huge issue in regards to taconite is not exactly light. <laughs> uh, we leave a lot of taconite on the shore because we can't get, get the, the ships out. So I, I share that, and uh, I will be right on top of that as, as long as I am here. Uh, however, the dredging of our ports and waters, waterways is, is simply cannot be looked at as a parochial issue. It is something that is solely important for the Great Lakes, but also for the country as well. And make no mistake, uh, harbor maintenance is a uh, truly a national issue in regards to competitiveness as well and, and uh, getting our, our, our product out and underway to uh, ports on, on, and foreign shores. Uh, the more we do to decrease the transportation costs, as you brought out, Mr. Weekly, also creates a, a better bottom line for us as well. Uh, so with exports, uh, we can better compete with other nations. So uh, this is also not only of uh, interest to the United States, but in a global issue as well. So, Mr. Weekly, as you said in regards to the jobs, uh, what do you think the impact of lost productivity in terms of American jobs and American prosperity? Can you actually coin that for us? Well, sir, I can't put a number on it, but I can tell you we are exporting jobs. And if you want to export more jobs, make sure that we continue to make the system less efficient. Um, if we are going to compete in a global marketplace, um, we need to move products and raw materials internally efficiently so we can ship them to New Orleans so he can export them um, to the world. So I think there is no greater risk to the American worker, particularly the manufacturer, the farmer, the miner, um, than making the system uh, as inefficient as it is. M much to your credit, Congressman, I, um, maybe it is your experience as a naval officer. You certainly understand the uh, tons per inch immersion and the concepts of controlling depth. And to your credit, again, it is not just the Port of Duluth, but it is the miners up in the range, as you just mentioned, who have a very vested interest, not just in the port, but if we are going to ship coal to Congressman Ribble's district, we got to go through the St. Mary's, and that is our controlling depth. So we appreciate your, port, your support, not just for the Duluth Superior, but for the entire Great Lakes system. And, and we are blessed to have you uh, serve us. Uh, thank you for those kind comments. Appreciate that. You know, you also mentioned a little bit about the Port of Dunkirk in your written testimony. Uh, could you also expand about that? How many ports are actually in? Are we in danger of losing harbor maintenance trust fund monies that are uh, not used as intended? Absolutely. Uh, uh, nationwide, you know, I believe um, uh, there is a port in, in South Carolina, uh, Georgetown, which will probably be the, uh, next to close, I would say, if it is a two year budget cycle 2012 on the Great Lakes. I have extreme concerns about St. Joe, Michigan, Holland, Michigan, Grand Haven, Michigan, Waukegan, Illinois. Anything that moves less than a million tons of cargo is zeroed out by the President's budget, which goes to Mr. Bishop's earlier point. If Congress can't right that wrong by passing this bill or, or by doing earmarks, we are going to end up with two ports that are maintained and probably 10 ports that are marginally maintained. And you just can't double your exports by reducing your number of ports. Well, thank you very much for the comments. I appreciate all of your testimony. I have 24 seconds left. And, uh, I, I appreciate you bringing this to our attention. I appreciate uh, the, your passion in getting America moving again and getting jobs back in the United States. So thank you very much, and I yield back. Uh, Mr. Landry, a question.